Hi everyone, my name is Mickey Crystal and today I've got a bit of a conceptual lesson for you that's going to involve adding ad nine arpeggios to your vocabulary. Okay then, so if we look at the key of C major, which is what you heard there in that improvisation, and we take a C major arpeggio, which would be C, which is our root, E, which is our major third, and G, which is our fifth. Okay, so that's root, major third, fifth, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna add in the second note of the scale, which in this case is a tone higher than C, which is D, okay? So now we have this. So you're probably asking, okay, so it's the second, but it's called an add nine arpeggio. So what we mean is if we've got the second and we repeat this up the octave, okay, that's gonna be the ninth. So the ninth degree. So if I play C major, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can see this octave here is nine. So that's your D note. So hence the term add nine arpeggio. So all I'm doing is playing this little figure. Okay, and then simply just playing it in the octaves. Okay, and just messing around that with that. Okay, so if you want to expand on that, so that would be that would work in. A couple of different situations. So obviously we've got the the major third in there. So if you wanted to play that in a dominant kind of situation, like a blues, you could also do it there. Okay, but say we've got a minor chord progression. What we need to do, it's very simple. All we do is we take that major third and simply just lower it by a fret. Okay? And we do that in each octave. So now we have... Okay, now that works great in a variety of minor situations. So you can play that in a Dorian situation, or you can play it in, obviously, a minor Aeolian kind of situation, okay? Okay, so now we've got that minor add nine. What about if we mix them? So if we mix in the the normal add nine and the minor add nine, that's gonna work again in your blues. So if we've got that kind of C dominant seventh. And you can hear that little bluesy bend going from the minor third to that major third, okay? So again, try these ideas in a variety of different situations. There's quite a lot of examples in that little playthrough at the beginning, and I'm just gonna play you out now with a minor version. Mm -hmm. 